but we made perhaps an even more perfect call to the Secretary of State of Georgia, which is my right. And in fact, the call was so perfect that the many lawyers, we had like seven or eight lawyers on the call on both sides, and other people on the call never expressed even the slightest bit of anger or outrage. It was perfect. Perfect as in we caught him red handed. I just want to find uh, 11,780 <laughs> votes, which is one more that we have. Yeah. Why is it taking so long to lock him up? Why is it taking so long? What is the hold that Donald Trump has over not just the GOP, but our country as well? A new Emerson poll says that in a head to head in Iowa, if it were held right now in the state of Iowa, Trump would beat Biden by eight points. Why? I love the poorly educated. OK, that's part of it. The poorly educated love you and uh, you love them. Liz Cheney, Congresswoman Liz Cheney, who is also the beneficiary of the poorly educated, she's not happy with Donald Trump and the House Select Committee investigating the January 6 Capitol Hill insurrection is holding its next public hearing this Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern. I don't know if we're going to maybe we'll have a viewing party. I don't know. And Liz Cheney, she thinks Trump is leading us down the road to fascism. She is very worried. She's very upset with her Republican Party. For almost 40 years now, um, I've been voting Republican. I don't know that I have ever voted for a Democrat. Um, but if I lived in Arizona now, I absolutely would. And for governor and for secretary of state. For governor and secretary of state but she didn't talk about the senate race in arizona interesting i'll talk about that in a minute i haven't i i think i know who liz cheney is voting for or would vote for if she lived in arizona for senate see fascism as liz cheney knows is anti-democratic it, it keeps people from voting that's the only way you can have fascism in america is preventing people from voting and we need candidates, especially in Arizona, who are pro voting like Mark Victor. And I think Liz Cheney, I think she's going to endorse Mark Victor for, for Senate in Arizona. She would vote for him. He's a libertarian, just like Liz Cheney. Probably Liz is probably a libertarian. Uh, Mark Victor, his last name is Victor. So, you know, he's got a good chance of winning and he thinks everyone should vote right so liz cheney she's she didn't endorse uh, blake masters he's the republican senate candidate for some reason she didn't endorse the incumbent senator mark kelly she said she would vote for democrats uh, running for governor and secretary of state in arizona but she didn't come out in favor of mark kelly from arizona senator mark kelly He's a Democrat. That might be part of it. But more importantly, he and his wife, Gabby Giffords, are anti-Second Amendment, all because of something that happened to Gabby Gifford in the past. I, I can't remember what it was, but it made her anti-gun. I think Liz Cheney in Arizona should endorse Mark Victor because this guy is pro-democracy. He, here he is over the weekend in the big debate between Blake Master and, and Senator Mark Kelly, here is Mark Victor saying everybody should vote and we should always be voting. That should be up for a vote. What should the age of consent be? This is something that reasonable minds disagree on. That should be up for a vote. Yes. <laughs> he thinks everything should be up for a vote. That should be up for a vote. What should the age of consent be? This is something that reasonable minds disagree on. That should be up for a vote. Yes, that should be. The, why isn't Matt Gates endorsing this guy? The age of consent should be up for a vote. Something tells me Mark Victor's idea of voting on the age of consent only happens when the police show up and he goes, OK, fellas, raise your hand. How many of you think she looks like she's over 18? OK, uh, reasonable minds he says, uh, disagree. 
on what precisely should be the age of consent. Reasonable minds like uh, Alan Dershowitz. He's a reasonable mind, isn't he? He just, you know, he wrote this piece in 1997 for the Los Angeles Times. Here's a reasonable mind, Alan Dershowitz, who wrote a piece in 1997 entitled Statutory Rape is an Outdated Concept. Then the subhead is, if a 16-year-old can choose abortion, should be able to choose to have sex. And he goes on to write that it should be sex with anybody. Sex, you know, not just somebody her own age. That's Alan Dershowitz, a reasonable mind, right? That's a Alan Dershowitz. I mean, there's no more reasoned mind than constitutional scholar uh, Alan Dershowitz. Why would he... He, has there ever been any indication that he would want to lower the age of consent? He, he's, it's not like it's not like he was friendly with Jeffrey Epstein or anything, right? It's not like he hung out in Jeffrey Epstein's apartment in New York City or down in Florida and might or might not have gotten a back rub from an underage girl. I, I think he said it was a perfect massage, just like that perfect phone call that Donald Trump had. That, that his being pro lowering the age of consent back in 1997 has, had, has nothing to do with hanging out at Jeffrey Epstein's property and getting a perfect massage from uh, perhaps an underaged girl. And who's to say what underaged is, right? Reasonable people like Alan Dershowitz and Senate candidate in Arizona, Mark Victor, they disagree. It's okay. We, we disagree. Matt Gates and I disagree over what is the age of consent. And of course, Alan Dershowitz was Trump's attorney during the first impeachment.